All right. Hello and welcome. This is our Fit Essentials Basics class, also called our Movement Basics. My name is Shauna. I'm going to be guiding you through this session. You can anticipate about 30 minutes of movement here, um, some stretching, some body weight, calisthenics, and we'll just kind of move it from there. So when you're ready, we're going to go ahead and start seated. We're going to do a seated cat cow to kind of warm up through our spine and our shoulders a bit. So as you come to seated, I want you to make a point that you sit right up on your sit bones. You can sit nice and tall and then have your feet flat on the ground. From here, you're going to bring your hands to the bottom of your knees. And then as you breathe in, you're going to pull your belly in toward your spine, tuck your chin in and round your head, chin down toward your chest. And then as you go to breathe out, I want you to slide your hands up your thighs, draw your elbows back behind and lift the head and neck. Really nice. Breathing in, tuck it back down. Shoulders draw forward, stomach draws in, and then breathing out. Lengthen through your spine. Try to draw your collarbones and shoulders back. Awesome. Three more times. See if you can breathe in through your nose. And then either out your nose or out your mouth, whatever feels best for your body. Wonderful. Twice more. As you breathe in, pause the top of the breath. So big breath in. And after that short pause, smooth breath out, elbows pull back, open that chest. One more time. Try to breathe into the back of your body. And all the way out. Elbows draw back, head lifts up. Fantastic. Go ahead and reposition as needed. Center yourself on your chair. And now we're going to start to warm up those shoulders a little bit with the feet flat on the ground. We're going to imagine we've got a nice, beautiful apple tree and we're going to reach over, trying to grab that apple. Imagine you've got a basket right underneath your chin. And then we're going to alternate sides, reaching out in front of your body, out and across. Very good. And then we go back to the first side, lengthen. You've got those big muscles called your lats through the side of your body. Ah, very nice. And if you can start to reach overhead, and imagine you've got some branches that are like right over top of your head, coming it down, very good. And then back the other side, over, very nice. One more time each way. So reaching straight up towards the ceiling, side bend, good, and down, and balance it out. Reaching over and drawing it down, fantastic. All right, we're gonna warm up our ankles next. So sitting tall, we're gonna lift your left leg off the ground, interlace your hands, brace in front of the knee, and I want you to draw your shoulders back so you engage the muscles of your mid-back. And then while you're holding that mid-back posture, go ahead and circle through your foot and ankle. Up and around. It's normal to kind of feel some clicks and pops in there. Very good, and then we'll circle the other way. Fantastic. Once you finish that, set that foot down. We're going to do the same thing on the second side. Sitting tall, pick it up. Engage those shoulders. Watch that you're not shrugging up. So shrug down and now circle through the ankles on this side. Ooh, there are some clicks and pops on my end. Good. Turn the other way. Laura, see if you can just kind of engage that mid back a little bit more, drawing those elbows back. Sitting tall. There you go. And set that foot down. You're going to return to your left leg, and now we're going to look to stretch our hips a little bit. So we're going to pick that foot up, try to swing that foot over your opposite leg, and now bring your hand to the outer aspect of your knee and thigh, and now draw that knee like you're trying to pull your knee towards the opposite side of the body, looking to lengthen through your outer glute area. So you kind of want to feel in the outer hip. You can add a little rotation through your body if you want to try to look over your left shoulder. Breathing twice more here. And when you're ready, go ahead and release. In between sides, we're going to do a seated forward fold. So starting with the hands on the knees, you're going to draw your stomach in, slide the hands down, bow your head down. And just get a nice stretch for your lower back, your mid back, never forcing anything, just lengthen. Breathe. 
And on your next inhale, slide the hands back up, coming back up to seated. Fantastic. And now we'll balance out that glute stretch. Now on your right leg, pick it up, interlace the hands, swing it over the opposite knee, and then reposition coming to the outer aspect of your knee and lower thigh. And now engage by pulling the leg towards the opposite side. Good. And then a gentle twist, try to look over your right shoulder. Breathing nice and deep here. See if you can have the ability to breathe in and out the nose. One more breath. And go ahead and release those legs. Ah, fantastic. All right. When you're ready, we're going to practice some sitting and standing out of the chair. So if you need to, you can push off your thighs. If you're able to not use your arms, reach your arms straight out. You can place your feet a little bit wider. Try to keep your chest as tall as you can. We're going to stand all the way up. So when you're ready, go ahead and come up to standing, squeeze the glutes, and then nice and smooth, push your knees out. Sitting back, just lightly touch the chair, and then coming back up. Squeeze the glutes and stand. Very nice. Breathing in as you sit back. Sitting down, and then standing tall. Rest those arms down once you stand all the way up. Very good. We're going to spend about another 15 to 20 seconds here. Really key to keep those knees pushing out, full foot planted. Yeah, squeeze the tush. Sometimes we don't always stand all the way up. So you wanna stand all the way up. One more time, stay standing as you get there, stacking those shoulders over the glutes, fantastic. All right, if you have a drink of water nearby, let's go ahead and get a little hydration. Very nice. And now once we're up to standing, we're gonna move into some hip circles. So hands on the hips, feet about hip width apart, and then just nice and smooth, we're gonna circle through. Anywhere between five and eight times in one direction, and then we'll switch. Fantastic, when you're ready, we'll switch directions, circling the hips the other way. If you ever notice that your back or your hips feel stiff when you get up from the chair or get out of your car, this is a really simple thing to do to just give some relief to those muscles and those joints. Fantastic. All right, from here, walk the feet in and I want you to look down at your feet and go ahead and take all 10 toes and have them pointing directly away. Sometimes we tend to turn one foot out. So see if you can get all 10 toes to point straight away. Now I want you to check in with your mid body. Sometimes we tend to arch our lower spine. So draw your belly button in, kind of rock your hips underneath you. Very good. With a slight bend in your knees, we're gonna take our hands and cross them over the opposite shoulder, bring those elbows nice and high. And then we're gonna practice what's called a hinge, like a door hinge, where you imagine your hips are like the joint of that door and you're gonna push your hips back as you bow your chest forward. Say hello to the back of your body and then drive through your legs, squeeze the glutes and stand it all the way up. Awesome. Breathing in, long spine, send those hips back. Raise those arms up as you bow down. And then as we come back to standing, you can rest those arms on your chest. Give a little bit of break for the upper body. Three more times, breathing in, hips push back, arms raise up, stomach draws in. Thanks, Laura. And then drive the legs, standing tall, twice more. Practice that long spine, midline nice and stable. Push it back. Squeeze the glutes, standing all the way up. Super. One more time. Hips push back. Just a little bend in your knees so you're not hyperextended there. And then standing all the way through. Lovely. All right. Check in with your feet. Next, we're going to practice. Uh, actually, we're going to do some marching before we do any lateral work. So standing tall, hands to the sides. And we're gonna march, trying to lift the opposite hand with the opposite knee. Good, so you can have a low march here, or if you feel confident and stable, this is some balance work as well when you're coming onto that single leg. So you wanna engage, drawing your stomach in. Nice. Can you even add a little challenge by kind of pausing in the top, trying to hold your, your hips nice and level. Good, everything nice and square. Maybe one more on each side. And take a pause there. Next, 
We're going to practice some lateral steps. So we're going to start by bringing the hands together, arms extended straight out in front of the body, feet relatively close. And then as you step wide, we're going to open through your arms, squeezing those shoulders back and down. And now we're going to step back in. Hands come together, feet come close. Good. Open and close. Excellent. And then you determine your tempo. Nice and steady or a little bit faster, whatever feels best for your body. Good. We're going to go 15 more seconds here. Open wide and step it in. Nice job. So we have a slight engagement through your midline, kind of drawing your belly up and in. As you open your arms, try to squeeze your shoulder blades back. Good. Last one. Open, close, and rest. Shake it out. Just kind of swivel through the body, swivel through the shoulders. There you go. All right. Feel free if you want to grab another drink of water. And you can either stick with me if you want to do that good morning once again. If you're down for lifting a little bit of weights, I'm going to use my water bottle as my weight. And I'm going to be holding my water bottle right between my legs. You can also hold like the top of a dumbbell if you have it. It's going to be a very similar motion to that good morning where you're going to check in with your feet to begin. Toes pointing forward. Remember to draw your stomach up and then squeeze those shoulders back. And then with a little bend in your knees, I want you to send those hips back. If you're holding a weight, you're going to lower it down right between the legs. You don't have to go all the way to the ground, just mid shin if you have a smaller weight. And then drive through your legs, squeeze the glute, standing all the way up. Stack those shoulders over the hips. Wonderful. Breathing in, long spine, controlling yourself down. Yep. And then breathing out, pushing through the feet. Squeeze your tush as you stand tall. Lovely. Three more times. Breathing in. Taking it down, coming down a little slower, and then standing up a little bit faster. Super, standing tall. Again, breathing in, bowing forward. Nice. Breathing out, standing tall. Let's talk about the head position right now one more time. As I stand tall, I'm looking ahead. And now as I push my hips back, as I bow my chest down, I'm going to turn my gaze down towards the ground. Excellent. And then standing all the way up. Solid. Go ahead and set the weight down to the side. Make sure you have some space because we're going to go back to our marching. If that first march was challenging for you, stick with it. Anyone that wants more of a challenge, we're going to turn it into what we call our cross body punch. So our upper body punches across, still opposite arm with the opposite leg. And now we're trying to time that exhalation. So as I breathe out, I punch. Breathe in, draw that elbow back behind you. Good, breathe out and punch. Breathe in, draw the elbow back. Lovely, 10 more seconds. Be patient with the balance here. You can don't have to lift the knee really high. Draw that belly in and two, one, take a pause. Good job. You can stick with those seal jacks. We call the seal jacks when the arms go laterally. Or if you're up for opening those shoulders a bit more, as we step out, we're going to bring the arms to overhead. Kind of touch your index fingers together. As you step in, palms come in front of the belly. So stepping out when you're ready, stepping in. Good. Out and in. If you're coming overhead, feel free to clap the hands. Maybe just a little smile. <sighs> breathe and step. Step and breathe. A lot of times in daily life, we don't do a lot that side to side, but sometimes we get a little tripped up on our feet and we want to have that ability to step to the side without causing injury. So it's good practice here using those lateral movements and not just always moving forwards and backwards like a normal walk. Good job. Up and over last time, friends, and take a rest. Nice work. All right, grab another drink of water. We're gonna do a little stretch and then we're gonna go one more time on that series. All right, I'm gonna use, I've got like a little stereo cabinet here. If you have a back of a chair, a countertop, you're gonna push your hands down, either the back of the chair or the countertop. We're gonna walk the feet back. Again, draw your stomach in and you're going to lower your head and chest between those arms, kind of opening up that mid back position. You might also feel it in the back of the thighs, looking down towards the floor. As you breathe in, try to come out of that stretch just a little bit, lifting up between your shoulder blades. 
Breathe in in the back of the body. And then as you breathe out, think about lowering your heart towards the floor without overarching your lower spine. Good. Three more breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Ah, try to take deeper breaths than you do on a daily basis. So really expand those lungs last time. And when you're ready, on the next inhale, making your way back up to standing. Ah, good job coming out of that stretch. And then before we jump into that last round, instead of hip circles, I want you to imagine you're trying to make like a figure eight position. So you're just going to flow through those hips. You can either keep the hands on the hips, or if you want to imagine you're like on the beach in Hawaii or just flowing through like the hula girls. There we go. Good. Lovely. And then we'll flow the other way. Smile, especially if you feel awkward. <laughs> Laugh through it. Try to enjoy your movements. Fantastic. All right, friends, one more time through. Again, if you're comfortable to hold some weight, you can hold a dumbbell right between your hands. I've got my water bottle here. Or you can just practice those good mornings that we did to start. Check in with those feet, toes pointing forward, midline engaged. It's a little bend in your knees. And then when you're ready, you're going to push your hips back. You want to practice that long spine. Good. And then drive through the feet, squeeze the glutes and stand. Really want to stand up all the way. Engage the back of the body. Excellent. Coming down in about three seconds. Nice and slow. That helps to build the strength in your tendons. Kind of build that awareness through your joints. And then a little bit faster to stand. Fire that bum, squeeze those shoulders, good. Breathing in, bowing forward, chin in, eyes looking down. Wonderful, and then as you stand tall, eyes looking forward. Excellent, let's go two more times. Breathing in, hips pushed back. Excellent position, Laura. And then breathing out, standing all the way up. One more time if you're good for it. Breathing in, bowing down, lovely. Breathing out, standing tall. <sighs> Awesome. If you're using any weights, set them to the side. Make sure you have some space. Excellent. And then we're going to go back to that march first. If you're comfortable with that cross body punch, a little bit of a challenge here where we want to cross punch with the upper body, but I don't want your legs to be swinging across. I want you to try to keep your hips and legs square while you get just a little bit of motion through that upper body. Excellent. Try to punch a little higher up by those shoulders. Good. Remember to time it with that exhalation. Excellent. Balance work in disguise here. Do one more time on each side. And take a short break. Rest those arms. Shake them out. Shake the body. Jiggle the body. Woo. There we go. And finishing this series with that step jacks. So if you're comfortable to go overhead, we're going to start with the hands in front of the hips, feet close, and now we'll step out, arms to overhead, step it in. Good. Remember, our other alternative is shoulders out to the side, opening through the chest or opening through the shoulders, either way. 20 seconds here. Good. If you can clap, clap the hands, even if you're doing that out and open. Clapping will help generate a little bit of positive energy for us. Oops, I got a little bit off in my tempo. Almost there. Try not to criticize yourself. If you feel like you're a little bit off, you're moving, we're grooving, doing the best we can and take that rest. Fantastic. All right, let's grab a drink and then join me back to seated. Almost done. We're gonna come back up for a couple more exercises, but first we're gonna take a little bit of a break and get some opening for the spine and the shoulders. <laughs> Good to see the puppy dogs on the other side of the screen. All right, friends. So this is called our mid-back rotations. Helps us to be able to turn our body, look into our blind spots when we're driving in the car, and also just keep that mo mobility and that range of motion through our rib cage to not have to overcompensate in our lower back or our neck. So when you're ready, let's mirror each other. It's going to be my right arm. Let's take your left hand behind the head. Left, rest your right hand on your knee. As you breathe in, you're going to come over, bringing your elbow as close as you can to that opposite thigh. And then as you sit tall, you're going to rotate, trying to pull your elbow behind you. Follow that left elbow with your gaze. So you're going to total of five times, breathing in, coming on down. 
Breathing out, use your right hand to gently push against the inner part of your right knee, get a little bit more rotation. Yep, down and in. Breathing out on that rotation. Good, breathing in, coming forward. Watch that the elbow doesn't start to shrug up. So draw that shoulder down out of the ear as you pivot your body. One more time on this fifth one, we're gonna hold this open position. So as you sit tall, we're gonna pivot and we're gonna hold for three deep breaths. So breathing in, as you exhale, see if your body wants to rotate just a little bit more, never forcing it. <sighs> One more time, breathing in and out. Awesome. Unwind and rest those arms down. Good. Before we jump to the other side, let's circle through the head and neck. Up and down, up and back. Very good. Just gently seeing what feels best for your neck and shoulders. When you're ready, gently circle the head the other way. Ah. Nice and smooth. Keep that range of motion. Very nice. All right, and then let's balance out the body. Your left hand's gonna rest on that left knee. Right hand comes behind the head. Draw that shoulder down, elbow back. When you're ready, drawing it forward first, bring that elbow towards the opposite thigh. Sitting tall and then breathing as you turn and try to look as far over that shoulder as you can. Five times total, we'll hold that position on the fifth one. Down and in. Back and pivot. Breathing in, trying to breathe in through the nose, coming forward, sitting tall, drawing the elbow back, breathing out, big breath in, number four, sitting tall, breathing out, and this will be our fifth one, we're going to hold for three counts, so coming down first, sitting up, Gentle rotation, pushing into your left hand and your left knee and then breathe three times here. On that exhale, see if you can pivot just a little bit more. Ah, one more breath and gradually unwind. Awesome. All right, before we jump up, let's go ahead and circle through the shoulders. So I'm gonna shrug my shoulders up to my ears Roll them back and then think about like a downward shrug, really lengthening through your neck, breathing in, gentle shrug up, circle back and breathing out. Come a little bit closer, good. Breathing in, up, rotate back and then try to lengthen through those collarbones. Good, twice more, breathe in. A lot of times, especially if you're in a colder climate, sometimes we get a little bit stiff. I know I find myself like this when I'm cold. So this is a great exercise. You can help to like release your tension. We wanna try to draw those shoulder blades back and down. That last one, open. You can turn those palms up as well, extend those arms out. Ah, lovely. All right. When you're ready, come back up to standing with me. Let's see where we're at here. All right. And then I don't have a chair with me to demo with a chair, but what you can do is you can turn and so you can have the back of the chair. If you feel comfortable in your squats, don't worry about it. You can use a countertop as well. I'm gonna use the stereo system here. And now when we did our hinging motion, we worked on our toes forward. Now we're gonna practice a little bit of some squatting. So I want you to have just a bit of a toe out. Imagine like the dial of a clock on the ground. Have your right foot point towards about one o'clock and the left foot pointing towards about 11 o'clock. From here, you can support yourself on the back of the chair or the countertop. And then with your eyes looking straight ahead, you're gonna send your hips back, keeping your weight in your heels and push your knees wide. And then use your arms as much as you need or as little as you need to come all the way up. Very good, breathing in. Hips lower back, knees push wide, heels stay planted. That's really key to keep your whole foot in contact with the floor. Two to three more, breathing in, sinking back, knees push wide, breathe out. Think about trying to drive straight down into your feet. Good, last one. Breathe in, reach the arms out or hold on. Breathe out as you pull yourself tall. Fantastic. 
All right, in between sets, because we're going to do one more set of those squats, but we're going to open up our hips a bit more. So if you want to mirror me, we're going to take your left leg, step it forward, keeping your feet hip width apart so that you have a good base of foundation. Start with the hands on the hips. I'm going to show you from the side. We're going to kind of rock the hips back, and then I want you to push your hip forward, squeeze this glute of that trail leg, and then come back to the arms on the shoulders, and we're going to just gently pivot rotating towards your left side. Turn the head and neck as well. There you go. And now as you're turning towards your left, see if you can fire the glute on that right hip. Try to squeeze your bum on that side and gently unwind. Good, rest the arms down. Keep your legs where they are. Take your left hand supported on your hip. Yep, we're gonna rock the hips back. And now as you rock the hip forward, take your right arm, reach it straight up in the air. Excellent. Squeeze the glute on that right side and then see if you can just gently bend towards the side. A little side stretch at the same time. Ah, really helps to open up that whole complex of your hip flexors that get tight from sitting. Keep our low back nice and strong as well because when those guys get tight, our spine tends to get tight. Come out of it, rest it down. We're going to do that same one one more time. So you can rock the hips back. Push the hips forward, keeping grounded through your left heel, and then breathe in, raise your right arm up, and then lean your body towards the left, your left. Excellent. Ah, squeeze that glute on that trail leg. Try to wake up those muscles and rest it down. Awesome. Walk the feet in. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So now step your right foot forward. Making sure you're nice and anchored. You want that right shin to stay vertical. And if you remember, the first one we did was the hip shift, get that shift of the hips. And we're going into what we call our I dream a genie arms, arms up on the shoulders, elbows high. And the first one's that rotation. So turning towards your right side, eyes up. See if you can turn the head and neck as well. Squeeze the glute on that left hip. Ah. And then gently unwind the body, rest the arms down, keep the legs where they are. Right hand on the right hip. As you push that back hip forward, now we're gonna raise your left arm up and then take it into a side stretch, leaning towards your right, really nice. And gently unwind, lower the arm down. We'll do it one more time. So I push the hips back, bow the chest down slightly. Lift the chest, like push that hip forward, squeeze the bum on that left leg, breathe in, raise that arm up, and then lengthen through that side body, reaching over. Oh, really good. One more breath here and shake it out. Careful when you walk that back leg in. One more time with that squatting practice. So holding on to your countertop, your chair, if you don't need to hold on, that works as well. Check in with those feet. 11 o'clock and one o'clock. And then when you're ready, you're gonna breathe in, lift your belly up and in, engage your midline, knees pushed wide, hips sit back, awesome. And then drive the legs and stand. Eyes looking straight ahead. If you're not holding on, reach the arms out, really make some good room through those thighs, standing tall, rest the arms down as you stand up, excellent. Two to three more, breathing in, sitting back, Excellent. Breathing out, standing up. I'm going to take you through twice more. Breathing in. You listen to your body, though. Sometimes this is like really stiff for people. The key that I like to focus on is if you feel stiffness, I'm okay with that. But if it is getting more stiff or painful as you lower down, then you want to listen to that pain. You know, you want to be able to uh, differentiate between stiffness and pain. Ah, fantastic. All right. Once you finish those squats, this is going to be a little bit of a bigger challenge. I know some of you well that can do it. We're going to try to stretch the quads. So I recommend balancing, holding on, lifting up like you're practicing your balance. And then if you're going to see if you can grab that foot, this will be our last stretch from standing. Holding that heel towards the glute. Awesome. And then see the shoulder position. Really good, Laura. Sometimes we tend to sink into those hips, lift up, hold the hips level. If you can't quite get your foot, be kind to yourself. You can also do this from the ground, like lying on your side and wrapping a towel or a rope around your foot. Go ahead and release that foot when you're ready. 
And let's go back to those hip circles in between sides. Awesome. And then circle the other way. Lovely. And then let's balance it out. So lifting up, holding on as needed, grabbing that other foot. And our final stretch. Super. Those of you that can do this, really figuratively give yourself a pat on the back. I work with people in their 20s and their 30s and their 40s that cannot do this. So it's pretty spectacular when we see people in their later decades of life that are able to do this. <laughs> If you can't do it, keep it going. All right, release that foot when you're ready. And you can either sit down or you can stay standing. We're just gonna do a final couple of breaths together. We're gonna bring the hands together in front of the heart. As you breathe in, we're gonna go ahead and reach up to overhead, lifting up through the spine. And then as you breathe out, lower the arms out to the sides. Fantastic. You can close your eyes if you'd like. Breathe in deep. Think about how you want to feel. Think about some vitality, some joy, some love. Send it out to your friends, loved ones, even anyone that kind of challenges your <laughs> emotional and mental state. One more time, breathing in. If you're holding any stress, any worries, any concerns as you exhale, try to let it all go. Fantastic. All right, and give yourself a little round of applause. Thanks so much for showing up today, taking care of your body. Keep yourself moving, keep yourself hydrated. And remember, life is meant to be enjoyed. So do something that brings you joy today. We'll see you next time.